Hello, Chloe here, and welcome to my 2022 room tour slash figure collection video. A quick disclaimer that I have been collecting things over many years, so it's kind of a lot of things to go through. I didn't want to do just like a figure collection video, but then it turned into this whole room tour collection video. But yeah, um, timestamps are available so you guys can just kind of skip around if you want to. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and let's just get right into it. <laughs> All right, so let's just start off with my door. Not much here. I just have one walls girl of Amelia from ReZero, of course. Um, I bought this a year or two ago, and this was the first walls girl I ever purchased, actually. And yeah, I absolutely love the design, and she looks so cute in streetwear. So I had to get it. Yeah, so yeah, really glad I picked it up. That's it for the door and just moving over to the right to the first bookshelf. I'll just quickly go through these since it's mostly video game related stuff. But on the top shelf, we have my Tomb Raider and the Last of Us display. This Lara statue is actually from the collector's edition for Rise of the Tomb Raider, which was the second game in the trilogy. And I used to think it was like the coolest thing ever, but now looking at the face, it's okay. <laughs> um, not the greatest. Um, and I got some of the collector's strategy guys. Um, some mini figures that I picked up because they were like super cheap. And on the right, we have my Joel and Ellie statue, which came with the post pandemic edition of the game. Um, really glad I was able to get that. Um, absolutely love this. It's one of my favorite things. And we have this um, random firefly keychain that came with the uh, strategy guide, which I have over here. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, and moving down to the next shelf, we have my Kingdom Hearts shelf. Um, looks pretty empty because I did end up storing some of the stuff into the closet. Um, so I have most of my Kingdom Hearts games here. And in front, I have this Donald Formation Arts figure that I got years ago. I don't remember where when I got it. I just always had it and it does look pretty nasty because I didn't take care of it. Um, but it's fine. It's it still looks okay. And right next to it, we have this rough looking keyblade. I think it's the Master Arms or something like that. And it's actually missing the keychain, which I have hanging on the side of the shelf. And then we have this Heartless plushie, which came with I think Dream Drop Distance Collector's Edition. I don't know, he's he's just been chilling here. Uh, super cute. And next to him, we have my Roxas Nendoroid still sitting in his box because I feel like it'd be really empty if I took him out. So yeah, just still unboxed. Um, I will open him eventually. And right next to him, um, I have some of my Kingdom Hearts manga. Uh, for volume four and five, I read them online, I think. And that's why, um, they're still shrink wrap like I bought them afterwards yeah so that's why it's like that um but yeah and I also have this matching goofy to the Donald also looking pretty dirty but still looks cool um I really love it so yeah I'm gonna chill here and some more strategy guides and moving on down we have my final fantasy shelf we have a lot of my physical copies of the games here I think this Dirge of Cerberus one is actually signed by Steve Blum, who voiced my boy Vincent. Uh, <laughs> he came to a con here years ago and then I asked him to sign it. Um, not the greatest game, but it was fun for what it was. Uh, and here we have a tiny acrylic stand of Luna Freya from 15 that I got in Japan because I thought it was really cute. And oh, this is the Uniqlo playing card set from the collab a couple of months ago. And I got some of my PSP games back there and I got this Final Fantasy VII remake tin can thing um, that my friend actually gave me. It was a pre-order bonus, but my store said that they didn't get any in, uh, which sucked. Uh, and we have more strategy guides here. Uh, I really like buying them for games I was really excited for, um, just for like collecting purposes. I don't know, I just thought they looked really nice and I really love the Final Fantasy ones, especially. And we have this trading figure of hope. Um, I really wanted the lightning and Sarah one, but of course I got hope. Uh, because of course, uh, of course we have my very uh, amazing 
Tifa caught up a key of resin here, just chilling. Move her over a bit. So I don't have a PS5 yet, but I did buy the 7 Remake again because I wanted the Steelbook case. Um, I think it was like a pre-order bonus or something. In retrospect, I should have just bought it online separately. But yeah, I actually really love this Ultimania book. It has a lot of concept arts. Um, they translated interviews uh, to English, of course. And my favorite part is probably at the end where they interview the JP voice actors, the seiyus. It's a, it's a fun read and I do like seiyu related stuff. So yeah. And behind this, we have this giant uh, seven, eight, and nine strategy guys, um, all packaged in one beautiful box. Really neat. Um, really glad I picked this up. And over here, we just have <laughs> a bunch of Nendroids that I haven't opened yet, um, other than the power one. Um, this Yukino one uh, just came in kind of recently, and everything else I've had since like last november or december i don't know I i'll open them eventually <laughs> don't worry and on this last shelf we have some of the heavier stuff mostly just storage um some strategy guides here and the binders we have trading cards a lot of fire emblem cypher weiss shores and a couple of pokemon i think um then we have old magazines with Taylor Swift on them. I'm a big Swifty. And these pink folders are actually clear file holders. I have like a bunch of them, so I put them in there. Um, and this black binder here is actually a um, voice actor card collection binder for Roselia's um, seiyus, voice actors. Uh, I'm like just missing a few signed cards, I think. And then it's pretty much a complete set, but but yeah, if you've ever wondered who buys these, I do, or I did. <laughs> but yeah, love them. Um, Roselia, love them. All right, and on the top shelf of the second bookshelf, um, we have my basically my Nintendo stuff. Um, on the left, we have my Legend of Zelda stuff. Couple of strategy guide books here. Um, I love them. They look very fancy. Um, and over here we have some trading figures and this Pokemon nano block that I got from a co-worker actually. And then up here we have this Mochi Kirby keychain plushie thing <laughs> just sitting here. I actually got this for my sister but just like never gave it to her so it's mine now. <laughs> um, and it's just sitting on top of this um, uh, Twilight Princess manga. Um, I totally forgot how dark this story is but um yeah really great story and art and below that i have a couple of gamecube games um twilight princess and mario sunshine and up front i have this link figma which was actually my very first figma i think this was the first release and i got it at gamestop yeah i'm kind of amazed that he's not missing anything and he's pretty clean because like i didn't take care of him back in the day but yeah he's um he still looks really clean, really nice. And in the center of the shelf, I have some Fire Emblem Cypher cards of Azura, one of my favorite characters. I had this whole goal of trying to collect all the Azura cards at one point, but quickly realized it would be pretty expensive. So I just got the ones I really liked and just moving them over. I have some Amiibos behind it, um, just Zelda ones. We have Link and Zelda here and then Zelda from Skyward Sword. And next to her, this one's really expensive now, I think. Um, it's the Player 2 Corrin, female Corrin. On this side is pretty much the Fire Emblem side of stuff. Um, up front, I have this Edelgard Figma sitting on top of this regular 3DS. And behind that, I have the Fire Emblem Fates Limited Edition 3DS. I think I turned it on like once and then put it back in the box because I was playing Fates on the blue one at the time and didn't want to switch over or something. <laughs> And then we have the first Warriors Collector's Edition here and then the Three Houses soundtrack right by it and then um, I have this Three Houses Collector's Edition I think um, that I had to get my sister to forward to me because Target wouldn't ship to me and then over here 
in the corner we have some cipher art books um the trading card game uh i just got the ones with corin on the cover um when they had a restock a couple of years ago before three houses came out i think before or after yeah i just got these from um the official store uh and had to use a proxy but yeah they had a few more but i just got these two <laughs> And in the way back, we have an Ike Amiibo uh, Fire Emblem Fate Special Edition with the three games and one cartridge. Um, really expensive now. And then this, I think, fan-made lamp thing <laughs> on the right. Down here, we have my Pokemon shelf. Uh, we have Cynthia here, best girl, um, without Garchomp because he's just way too big and I don't have space for him. And then Dawn with Piplup. Um, Piplup is one of my favorites, uh, absolutely best boy. And then Gloria here with Sobble. And then next to her, we have, of course, my little Marnie Nendroid with the Hangry Mode Morpeko. And then, of course, I have the Marnie scale figure here um, with her box behind her because I really like the art. And I also needed something to fill in the space. <laughs> And then I have this Jigglypuff keychain standing on this Ditto container. Um, I don't think anything is in there. Uh, I think maybe there was candy and I took it out. And then over here we have the snow globes, which I actually got from Korea at the Incheon airport right before I boarded my flight. Um, it was from Lotteria, the um, Korean fast food chain. And in this corner, I have this springtime Pikachu plushie that I got from the Pokemon Center when I went to Japan, as well as the Saida keychain plushie. And they're just sitting on this container that I've stored a bunch of acrylic keychains and can badges in. And kind of hidden in the back, sandwiched between two of my cafe plushies, I have this Kyoto themed paper theater that I got from the Pokemon Center. Um, I messed up a lot on this, but it still came out really great. So I'm really happy. It's really cute. And down here, I have a continuation of my Final Fantasy shelf. It does look pretty plain and ugly, and it's because I don't know where to put this, um, this Cloud and Tifa on the bike. I've always wanted to display them like this after seeing it at a store years ago with the original Avon Children figures. So even if this Tifa Play Arts Kai was pretty bad. I had to get it because I already had Cloud on the Hardy Daytona from the first class edition. Yeah, I, I had to get it. <laughs> and down here, I just have this random acrylic stand that was part of a fanzine, I think. And over here, we have this Crisis Core Zack trading figure. Um, I think that's what it is. And I did want the matching Aerith, but she's kind of expensive for what it is. So um, not going to get her. And then I have this full set of the Final Fantasy VII Final Polygon mini figures, <laughs> um, minus the Chase version of Cloud in a Dress. Absolutely love these so much. Um, they're so cute. And here we have this Moogle clock thing um, that my friend got me for Christmas, um, really cute. And in the corner, I have the Avon Children Tifa Play Arts Kai here. I think this was for the 10th anniversary, maybe. And this is actually the second one I owned. Um, I bought it for like $80 around release, and then I sold it a few years ago, and I really regretted it and ended up buying it again um, for, I think, around the same price I sold it for. So, yeah i had to have it back <laughs> um yeah tifa's my fave i need her my i need her in my collection oh i also have the avon children version of this uh cloud in my closet with the bike uh fender it was the first thing i ever ordered for ami ami um i don't think i ever opened it i just kind of buried it in my closet literally behind all of my figure boxes so yeah i don't know if i'll ever bring it down because of that <laughs> Anyways, here we just have like the remnants of my Disney merch, mostly just frozen stuff because I was obsessed with it. <laughs> this Elsa statue is evidence that I did not take care of my stuff back in the day. She looks pretty nasty now. Wish I had taken care of her, but oh well. <laughs> And on the bottom, I just have a bunch of books that I used to read that I never moved out. And on the way top of the shelves, I have these two limited edition Frozen dolls from the Disney store. 
And that's pretty much it for the two bookshelves. All right, and so moving on to my desk area, you can see a lot of it's pretty random. Uh, let's just start off with my monitors here. This is a curved monitor um, that I've had forever. And this is my brother's monitor that he just kind of left and told me I could keep. Uh, technically, this one is better for gaming, but I use this one as my main monitor because it has better color accuracy and I just like it better. <laughs> and up here, I have this um, shelf thing that attaches to the monitor and holds my Xbox and PS4 controller. Um, I just keep it up here for easy access. And over here, I have some Pokemon gotcha figures that I got from Korea, actually. And on this side, we have a Yukina acrylic stand keychain that I taped to the monitor. And a couple of more um, gotcha figures. This Nezuko one, I spent a lot of money on the gotcha pond to get. <laughs> uh, yeah, some more Pokemon ones. And on the end, I have this really tiny Ditto one. I don't think it'll focus, but yeah, it's a Ditto. <laughs> And on top of the Alex drawer to the left of my desk, I have this Mr. White tissue holder, a mascot character from Revue Starlight, super cute. And I just have this framed flyer of the Revue Starlight movie that I got in Japan. Like they were just handing it out, I think. <laughs> then I have this Azura print as well as some stickers I got from a friend just um, there on the side of my bookshelf. And um, I don't actually know who it's by a friend just gave it to me <laughs> and then i have this um cutting print from genshin impact um signed by the english voice actress um i don't play in english dub i play in jp dub um but i thought it was really cute so i picked it up and then over here i have some you might remember these from when i opened the honkai acrylic stands these were actually the packaging and i thought it was really cute. I like the art, so I just kept them. Right next to that, I have a couple of postcards. All of these are randomly placed. I had to take everything down when I moved the details to where these used to be. So yeah, it might look like they were just randomly slapped onto the wall, and it's because they are. <laughs> and then I have this wire board um, thing that I put some Revy Starlight acrylic keychains here. These are from, I think, Wild Screen Baroque. So like the second movie, the actual movie. Um, I absolutely love the art done by Mebachi. Um, I only have seven of the nine here. The other two are off on their own since they didn't fit here. Um, and I figured I might as well move those two to their own. But yeah, just these seven here for now. And down here, I have some Final Fantasy VII prints that I got from an artist on Twitter. Uh, they couldn't ship to me directly, so I had them ship it to my sister who then forwarded it to me. Um, that's how much I really wanted these. They're so pretty and I love them. And over here behind my monitor is my PS4 Pro um, Kingdom Hearts 3 edition just hiding back here. <laughs> and above I have some more postcards. These are from Your Throne, one of my favorite Korean manhwas. And above those is a Raiden Shogun print. Amazing. These are just some shikishi boards that I got from the first Revy Starlight movie. I do have all nine of them, but then I thought it'd be too much to have them all up. So I just have these two up for now. Um, I have Claudine, my favorite character um, on the left here. And then of course I have Maya on the right. Also another of my favorites. Um, yeah, so I just have them up. And then over here, we have some more art prints, um, just some random fire emblem ones that I had hanging up before, uh, again, randomly placed for now. Um, Camilla, Edelgard, Ingrid, my favorites. And then I have this wire grid thing <laughs> where I hung up some stuff. So this one I actually got from, I think, Anime Japan. Pan Expo. It was like a random expo that I ended up going to on my on one of my trips to Japan. Like we just ended up there and I really wanted this one. So I did the gotcha pun machine and actually managed to get her in like three tries, I think. I'm uh, really glad about that. And we have Kiana over here. Um, 
and then the Honkai keychains just hanging here. I uh, have these stickers of Mei and Kiana here just um, being held up by tiny clothespins. And oh, this isn't anime related, but this is my signed Taylor Swift booklet. I had it framed before, but I took it out and now it's just kind of hanging here. <laughs> um, and then I have this Echidna postcard that I got from ordering a figure from Kotobukiya. And then an Alicia and Eden sticker. So cute. I love them. And then I have this Azura keychain that my friend gave me years ago. So I don't really know who the artist is, unfortunately, but it's double sided and it's really cute. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my desk area. Um, pretty chaotic right now, but that's pretty much it. And to the right of my desk is a bunch of random stuff. Um, a lot of this is going to get moved around and change, but for now, this is what it looks like. Anyway, um, we have this Review Starlight towel of the ending art from the anime. Picked this one up in one of the pop-up shops in Japan a couple years ago. And it leads down to my Your Throne acrylic stands, which I paid way too much money for <laughs> because of shipping. Um, this one is actually a calendar and I keep the calendar um, refill paper back here um, so I can change it out more easily. Uh, totally worth the money. I love it. It's gorgeous. Uh, I love Medea so much. And on the right, I have Medea from volume one. And on the left, I have Psyche from volume two. And up front, I have Awandon from Onmyoji just chilling here for now. I had her somewhere else before, but I ended up putting something else there. So she's just chilling here until I find another spot for her. And behind her, I have my Switch back there. And down here, I just have a couple of mangas and a few Nendoroids. Um, the very cute Snow Miku's here. And I have my Shinobu Nendoroid back here as well. Um, that I haven't opened just yet. And down here is basically just some Fire Emblem books. And uh, this pretty much didn't fit uh, anywhere else. So I just put it here. And some Japanese game magazines with three hopes on the cover because I wanted to post theirs. <laughs> um, and then this, um, the Soul Eater manga was actually supposed to hold them up but it kept falling over so i just put this teddy bear here to help hold everything up <laughs> all right moving back up i have some signed prints here from the revy starlight movie album i forgot the exact details but basically it was an online event um you had to buy an album or albums if you wanted and you can choose which say you you wanted to have signed the print you chose from like a choice of two um i ended up buying three of them um i got one signed by ai Ai, Aiba Aina who voices claudine and then i got another one signed by moepi koizumi moeka um who voices Daiba Nana, of course, another of my favorites. And then the third one I got signed by Iwata Haruki, who voices Mahidu. Um, I really like to say, so I got hers. Um, thinking back, I should have got to one signed by Maya, but I thought four would be way too much. Plus it was like pretty expensive. So yeah, limited to three. <laughs> And there were two different designs, but the other one only had the two main characters on it. So I thought it'd be kind of weird. So I just got all of the same prints. So yeah, that's why there's two of that <laughs> up there. And right below, we have this giant board with a bunch of Review Starlight can badges and keychains. Um, my long-term goal is to complete this set over here of the ending theme acrylic keychains. I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like three of them right now. One I have never seen who goes with her over here and I've never seen her pop up anywhere. I did see one of Mahiru like recently kind of like the past couple months like twice but she was like 7k and 3k yen um and she was just way too expensive so i passed and then i saw one of juna once 
but she was also really expensive and she sold really fast so I don't know if I'll ever get them but it's a long-term goal of mine. And down here I just have this wall scroll to fill up the empty space pretty much. It's really just temporary. Um, this is the Maya and Claudine pre-order bonus wall scroll from Toranoana for pre-ordering the Blu-ray of the movie. Um, love it. I had to get it since these two are my favorite characters and we finally got to see a review between them. Waited years for it and it was 100% worth it. It was amazing. Love them. And going back up, we have some more Genshin stuff. These are enamel pins from, I think, it, Anna on Kickstarter. Um, this is the Liyue set that came out like a year or so ago. And there was a Mondstadt set recently. And I picked up a couple of those. Putao, a cutie. And right below the pins, we have some more Starlight stuff. Just Maya and Claudine here. Love the art. And here we have some random pink and purple merch. Um, I have another Azura keychain that I got from an artist on Twitter a couple years ago. We have a Yukina can badge in a Roselia branded can badge cover. Um, amazing. <laughs> uh, then we have this signed card of Yachio that I pulled from Weiss Shorts. Um, she's from the Starlight mobile game, Revy Starlight Relive. And I just have this cute Yachio Sanrio keychain here from when I went to the pop-up cafe. I think that's where it's from, uh, where they sold it. And of course, I have my Yai Sakura keychain here. Uh, so cute. And over to the right, I just have this Amelia Walls girl hanging here to fill up the space um, temporarily. Uh, my friend got me this and I just love it so much. It's very cute. Alright, so we finally made it to the second half of the room um, where our, most of my figures are. Before we get to the top, let's just quickly go through this left shelf here. Alright, on the very top of the shelf in the corner, I have a statue of my favorite Genshin character. I'm just kidding, it's uh, Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. And next to her, I have my Taylor Swift Polaroid camera box with a GG paper dater on top. And this cute wizard frog plushie that I got in Korea. And on the next shelf, I just have a bunch of CDs, a lot of Taylor Swift mostly, and some random ones that I got a long time ago. And next is just a bunch of my Switch games, a Mega Man Amiibo over here. And over in the corner, I have extra Joy-Cons just in case my current one dies. It's the Skyward Sword Edition. And then we have some Mario Kart Happy Meal toys. I just wanted this Luigi one. But someone gave me this Donkey Kong one too. But yeah, love the Luigi one. And down here we have my PS4 or I guess my PlayStation games. Um, Persona 3 Portable was my first Persona game. Loved it. Excited to play it again when it releases on Switch or modern consoles. And we have my Rachel Amber and Chloe Price figurines from Life is Strange. So cute. And down here, I just have games that wouldn't fit on the top shelves. Uh, most of these are actually my sisters. Um, I sold most of mine, which I really regret now. But yeah, these are just like the remainders of our DS, 3DS games. And that's pretty much it. I do have some boxes down here, but they just have like cards or they're empty. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're finally at the detox, the main course, like 30 minutes in. So sorry, but everything's time stamped. Uh, so I have four detox here, two of which I added kind of recently. But yeah, let's just get right into the first detox. All right, on this very top shelf, I have probably my prettiest shelf. We have the Yai Sakura figure by Apex. This is the 1 7 scale, I think, um, the China dress version. Such an amazing figure, one of my favorites. Um, I did put museum putty where her butt touches the branch just to secure her more because she felt kind of wobbly to me, like right over here, that's where it is. Um, but yeah, just in case I put it there. And then below her, I have the acrylic stand that comes with her. And at the back, I have the ever popular Shahua Miku from Maitos, another stunning figure. This was my very first Miku figure and she was just too beautiful to resist. And 
uh, started my spiral into Miku figure hell. <laughs> And right below her, I have the Aniplex Shinobu figure from Demon Slayer. I thought she looked really good up here with these two figures behind her because the colors of her howdy kind of matches Miku and Sakura's hair. Plus, she's just so tiny that she kind of just fits in perfectly. So yeah, pretty shelf here. On the second shelf, I have Chino from Is the Order a Rabbit, I think by Ethnex. Um, such a cute figure and really pretty. Um, my only issue with her is that I don't know where to put her, so she's just kind of up here chilling with Klee, who I also don't know where to put. Um, but I figured it kind of went well together since they're both really cute and kind of have similar vibes. Yeah, but this Klee figure was definitely a very pleasant surprise for me. She came out way better than I expected her to be. And I'm really glad that I ended up getting her after like canceling her twice, once or twice. Yeah. And on the third shelf, we have more Revy Starlight merch. Um, of course, uh, we I have the Karen and Hikari 1-7 scale figures by I think Bushiroad. I really wish that they would make more figures of like the other girls, like even just Nendoroids. Like I would buy all of them. But unfortunately, this is all we get in terms of figures. Very unfortunate. And down here, we have more acrylic stands. Um, these here are from, I think the second movie. Uh, yeah, Wild Screen Baroque. I ended up getting all nine of them because I really love, again, the art, the characters, the anime, basically everything. And they're just standing on some boxes that came with some other Starlight related merch. Um, and I just put it here. <laughs> and then this acrylic stand on the side came with one of the mangas. Um, I love the art for the mangas. It's so different and so great. Um, and on the other side is um, another acrylic stand from another volume uh, of the Seidan Girls. Uh, I actually had someone on Discord help me get these um, in Japan. So really grateful for that. Love them. They're so cool. Oh, also, um, my figures are standing on top of some mugs that I put in these acrylic boxes. Um, this one is a temperature changing mug that I think I got from Ami Ami. Um, and then Hikari is standing on this Sanrio collab mug. I don't know if I got this in Japan or if I got it online, but I just put these in the boxes because I wasn't going to use them. And I figured I might as well put it in this shelf <laughs> so yeah that's what they're standing on all right and this bottom shelf is pretty much my i don't know where to put you so i'm gonna put you here shelf um so in the front we have this one seven scale takagi-san by i think fat company um she was like one of the earlier figures i got um very cute and i really enjoyed the anime it's really cute and her base is so huge so i put the Kaguya Nendoroid here as well, um, just standing on it. Um, I don't have any of the other Kaguya-sama um, Nendoroids, but I wish I did get Shirogane, but I'm not paying that much for these Nendoroids. So I just have Kaguya here by herself. And then I have this Korobukiya 1-7 scale Misaka Mikoto figure here. So cute. The Gekuta obsession is so valid. She, she's so valid. <laughs> I love this figure of hers so much. And then behind her, we have this Yukina figure, the pajama version. Definitely not worth what they were charging for her. Uh, definitely overpriced, but as a Yukina simp, I had to get her. And I just really love the mini Roselia members around her, like on the base, especially the little Akko and Rinko. They're so cute. And of course, the Sayo and Lisa are also so cute. I. It's definitely the best part of this figure. I don't regret getting her, but yeah, she was definitely overpriced for the final quality. <laughs> and in the middle, I have the Aniplex Sakura Jimamai bunny version just chilling here for the time being because I don't have anything else that goes with her. 
and then i have another takagi-san figure back here i think this is called the road home version and i think she's also made by fat company yeah super cute all right, I'm moving on to the second detail. On the top shelf, we have my favorite figure that I own. This is the 17 scale crystal dress Amelia from Eastream. I was lucky enough to have her arrive perfectly intact. This figure actually is the one that got me into ReZero. I somehow ended up on Amelia's MFC page, like back before I even knew what MFC was. And her thumbnail literally caught my attention so fast. Like I just zoned in <laughs> right away. And I spent a few months looking for her and was lucky enough to grab her from Tom Otaku Mode. Um, in a restock after release. Um, so yeah, absolutely love her. Super beautiful. On the second shelf, we have my second favorite Amelia figure. This is the 17 scale by Alpha Omega. I have her standing on this crystal glass display stand that I got from a discount store. She kind of fits almost perfectly inside the circle, which is great. And I just got this because I thought it really looked like she's standing on some ice and that it would just look really good with her. But yeah, she does look good, so nice buy. And on either side of her, I have childhood Ram here and then Rem. They look very cute. Um, I think these are by FNX for you. Yeah, 17 scale, I think. Very cute. And in front, I just have a couple of ReZero Nandroids. This Amelia one is probably my favorite, especially in the hoodie. And Beatrice is also another of my favorites. Just everything about her is so cute. Um, but of course, I do have to give it to Amelia for being the cutest just because she is Amelia and she's my favorite. Um, <laughs> this Echidna one, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with. I hate moving her because the teacup and plate always fall off and I swear I almost lost it like five times. Yeah, I love Echidna but pretty much hate the Nendroid. Um, yeah. <laughs> and down here we have another Amelia figure. This is the 17 scale Shiromuku Amelia by Furyu. Such a beautiful figure, so elegant looking. Um, but the base is really big. Um, she basically takes up like the whole shelf to herself. So yeah, that's why she's down here. <laughs> and on the bottom shelf, I just kind of moved my tea party set here. Um, I definitely could have fit more in here if I wanted to, I think. But yeah, I did have some of the other characters in the set pre-order, but ended up canceling them because I kind of realized I only really cared about these three here. Um, this Beatrice one is definitely my favorite in the set. Just everything about her is amazing. The sculpt is amazing. The colors, just, just gorgeous. And this Echidna one, I think had quality control issues or something, but I think mine turned out fine. So yeah, I also really like this one. Um, and of course, Amelia is great and the table comes with her. So you kind of have to get her if you want like the tea party set, unless you buy your own table. But yeah, um, yeah, I just have some random desserts and oversized coffee cups um, on the table that I got from blind boxes. On this third detail, I promise this is the last Amelia figure. We have the idol Amelia 17 scale from Eastream. She's so cute and very pretty. And of course, Puck is down there. <laughs> um, she looks great. I love her. Um, I love the glitter on her dress. It's very idol like. So cute. I used to have her with my Bandory Nendoroid surrounding her to make it look like they're all performing together. Um, but I moved Amelia in here just temporarily um, to take up space. Um, but yeah, and I just have this Amelia acrylic stand with the same streetwear art as the wall scroll from earlier on my door. On the second shelf, we have two beautiful ladies here. We have the 17 scale Jean Bart dress version here by Wings. Uh, she looks great and so beautiful. Looks so pretty absolutely love her and next to her we have groza ots14 from girls frontline 
I just have the gun kind of just laying there because it kept falling over and I was too lazy to put it back in the box. But yeah, I absolutely love this figure. So beautiful. Um, yeah, now that I think about it, they kind of look alike. Um, they even have like similar poses. But yeah, so beautiful. I love them. And on the next shelf, I kind of have just random figures here. In front, I have the Atelier Riza 1 figure here and then the Atelier Riza 2 figure. Both are by Wonderful Works, um, both 1-7 scale. I pretty much just have one more Riza figure ordered and hopefully that's it because girl has way too many figures now. Um, super excited for a Claudia one to finally get painted one day <laughs> but yeah this rise of staff actually broke um i forgot where the break was but it was somewhere like here um i think it was a common issue that this figure had but it was a pretty clean break and i don't really remember where it happened and i can't see it so yeah no big deal <laughs> And behind her, we have Chen from Arknights. Um, love Chen, but her base is massive. So she's just sitting back there. <laughs> and then to the left, we have S from A to Z by Maithos. Love this figure. She's definitely my favorite from this line. Um, I did get her a little after release from Solaris Japan, um, but it was like really close to retail price. Like I want to say it maybe a thousand yen more um so not all that bad um really glad i got her back then <laughs> and down here i have my saber altar by good smile company just chilling here um i just unboxed her recently and didn't know where else to put her and i was kind of lazy to move things around so that's why she's down here and in the back we have my little witch academia figures this aqua figure in the middle is a 1-7 scale by i think kata ani and this was actually the first scale figure i ever bought i think um i got it from ami ami and like in all the years that i've had her i could never figure out where to put her so she just kind of been like traveling around my room um but she's here for now and next to her i have my akko nendoroid and my diana nendoroid on the side there um pretty much my two favorite characters from the show love them all right and moving on to the last detolf on the top shelf here of course i have the hersher of thunder right in may from apex here looking so good she was definitely worth the delays and the weight oh my god i just love her so much sometimes i just like literally just stare at her <laughs> and she just she just looks so good I, I love her so much um and behind her i just have the pvc poster that she came with um i just use like double-sided tape or something to tape it up yeah she looks so good i absolutely love this figure so much and on the second shelf, I have surprisingly my only altar figure. This is the 1 8 scale Hersher of the Void Kiana Kaslana figure. Absolutely love her. My queen. <laughs> love her. She does take up a lot of space though because of her wings. Um, and the base is also pretty big. So I just kind of have her with um, the three acrylic stands I have um, of Kiana, Yai Sakura, and Mei. Um, I wanted it to look like they were protecting her, like they're her guards. So that's where they're kind of like this. Um, this Kiana one is definitely my favorite. Um, and Yai Sakura here, um, very pretty schoolgirl art. And of course we have the nerdy Mei, also very cute but the Lee Quinn Kiana is definitely my favorite. And down here we have the 1-7 scale Himeko figure also from Apex. Such a sick figure, absolutely love her. Um, I have her displayed in the normal way, the standard way without the giant fire sword and the effects just because of space reasons. I don't think it fits in the detail, um, but such an amazing figure. Uh, and next to her, I have, I think the 1 8 scale Hersher of the Void Summer Parasol version. Uh, this is actually the first Honkai figure I ever got. Just love the whole vibe of this one. The queen taking a day off to relax. Yeah. Oh, the sandwiches and the champagne bottle are actually magnetic. So they just kind of stay on the table. Um, pretty cool. I like it. 
And on the last shelf, I have the Maito's Ride in May Eternally Pure version. I think that's the whole name. Um, I think it's another 1A scale. I just have her down here because her base is so big and she doesn't fit in with the others. And then I have the 1A scale Rita Rossweiss from Mihoyo with her since her base is really small. So she just kind of fits wherever I want her to be. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Detolf. Very pretty figures. All right, and I just want to quickly go through what's going on up here on top of the details. I'm like really stretching my arms all the way and I'm really short. So um, I'm just going to quickly go through this. Um, so I have some Genshin prints up here from left to right. I have Shenha, Ayaka, and Kokomi. I love all of them. And these are all by the same artist. Absolutely love their art. And in between, I have some Bandori plushies from the Sanrio collab like a year or two ago. <laughs> um, I only managed to get these two, Rinko and Yukina, but they're my favorite, so I was pretty lucky to even get them. And on the way left, I have my 1 8th uh, Devil Homura from Aniplex here. I actually got her like, I think last year from a private seller for a really good price because her box wasn't in the best condition. Um, like the glue was dried and the plastic was coming off, but I didn't mind. So I was glad to take her off their hands and add her to my collection. And up front, we have a bunch of Bandori Nessos or Nesso Berries. We have this giant Kasumi one, super cute. <laughs> she's so big and she's wearing the Suzu Dada Cat mask from Starlight that I got in Japan in Shibuya around Halloween. I think it was Halloween night. Uh, there was a pop-up shop and I went there that day and after spending like a certain amount, they gave you this mask and I kind of just kept it and gave it to Kasumi to wear. And next to her, we have this very tiny Kasumi figure, very cute. And right here we have Arisa. I think she was one of the more expensive ones, Ugh, but I love her, so I had to get it. And then we have Sleepy Kasumi, super cute. And then I have all my Rosalia ones, Akko, Rinko, Sayo, Lisa, and a bunch of Yukinas and this giant Yukina here. Um, she's wearing a hat from one of the Bandori and Geki Rock clothing collabs. This is the Lisa hat. Um, I just thought it was nice and it isn't too out there. Um, and I just, I just thought it was really nice and I just have Yukina wearing it. And that's pretty much it for the Detolfs. I think I'll save the calyx for last and just quickly go through the shelf over here. Here I have a couple of ghosties just sitting together on top. My sister got me this Mononoke one from Japan not too long ago. Um, and next to it I have Mama from Near Reincarnation. Uh, I just thought it was really cute and I just love Mama's feet dangling off the shelf. So cute. And on the bottom shelf, I have a couple more Nendoroids. Uh, the Zero Two and Pyro ones are here and a couple of paper theaters behind them. Some more Starlight acrylic stands on the side here. And on the next shelf, I have a bunch of Yuru Camp Nendoroids here with some random things I had lying around that kind of fits the whole camping vibes. And then I just have a couple of mangas here. I'm excited for the anime for Kakegurui Twin coming out soon-ish, I think. Yeah, super excited. And on the next shelf, I have a couple of Blu-rays. I think this was the first anime-related Blu-ray I ever got, the Persona 3 first movie, just first one. And then I have the English version of Revue Starlight here. Um, I only got this one because it was on sale. Otherwise, I just really like the JP Blu-rays more, but they're really expensive. And then we have a Silent Voice Blu-ray, one of my favorite anime movies of all time. I watch it like once a year just to feel things. And then I have the Madoka movie trilogy that I picked up after I like recently binged it again <laughs> a couple months ago or maybe a year ago. And then I have this very cool acrylic stand. Love the vibes. And then I have the soul gem and grief seed thing that I got a while back too. I 
And behind the Blu-ray, I have this Holic box set DVD thing. And on the last shelf, I just have a couple of more mangas that I haven't really read just yet. And that's pretty much it. All right, and we're finally at the last area, a bit of a familiar view, but this time I'll show you what's on the actual shelves below. Um, but yeah, let's just go through what's up here first. On the left, I have this acrylic stair display thing. I have my Alicia acrylic stand here from Honkai. Absolutely love her. So excited for 6.0. <laughs> and on this side, I have a Hu Tao acrylic stand from Genshin Impact. One of my favorite characters from the game. Absolutely love her. And down here, I have my Dark Magician Girl, Nandroid, such a cute one, and Creatable just makes it cuter. And then I have this dessert pastry display case next to Katarina from my next life as a villainess. Absolutely love her so much. I just thought it looked really good with her since she's holding a muffin. <laughs> and then uh, down here, we have some Bandori Nandroids. We have Kokoro jumping in the air, striking a pose. Super cute with her french fry hair. And of course, we have number one idol Aya. So cute. One of my favorites from the group. Um, and then next for her, we have Hina from the same group, also jumping in the air, striking a pose. It's super cute. And of course, we have my Sayo here from Roselia looking very determined. And then, of course, I have Yukina, my best girl. I got Yukina and Kasumi together from the Good Smile store. And then next to Kasumi, I have Arisa. These two are my favorites from the band. Love Arisa, one of my favorites um, overall. And that's pretty much it for that. And next to that, I have my racing Miku Nendoroid here. I put this doily thing under her to protect her hair so the paint doesn't get damaged. Um, and then back here, I have this Suzu Dottie Cat plushie from Revy Starlight that I got on my last trip to Japan, I think. And I kept it in the box because I like the packaging. And over here, I have this Hamtaro in a dinosaur suit that I just put in this Yuru Camp cup of Nadeshko. <laughs> Super cute. And back here, we have a Baron Bunny plushie from Genshin Impact. Absolutely love this so much because it looks so scuffed. <laughs> it's so doofy looking. It's, it's cute, um, but it's so jank. I, I loved how scuffed it is. Amazing. And then we have a clay mug here. I think there's chocolate in here. I don't know if it's still good. I think it's kind of old. Uh, and next to the Baron Bunny, we have the Sanrio collab review Starlight plushies of Karen and Hikari that I picked up when I went to um, a live show concert on my last trip, um, Starry Diamond. It was so amazing. And I had I like waited hours in line to get these. It's I love it. And over here, we have a couple of plushies that are actually my sisters, both from Sanrio. Um, yeah, they're just sitting on some books here. Um, this Taylor Swift book, All Too Well, um, is actually a notebook that just looks like a real book um, from her music video slash short film of it. And then I have this art book from Mibachi who did some art for Starlight that I really love. I think their art style is really cute, so I picked it up. And over on the end is this giant Tifa Lockhart resin quarter scale statue. This is unofficial, it's unlicensed, but yeah, absolutely love Tifa and I just kind of picked this one up. I basically don't have faith in them making a really nice looking one that's also affordable um, after seeing that Final Fantasy VI one that's like $12,000. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, and for the first cubicle, I have this ReZero one. It does look kind of empty up front because I had the Nandroids here before, before moving them. Um, I'm probably going to move all of this somewhere else in the future, but I do have my light novels here, volumes 1 through 16, um, and some paper theaters here of Amelia and Beatrice, and hopefully Echidna gets one in the future so I can kind of balance it out. And then I have this PS4 game down here that everything's just kind of sitting on. I played it for like an hour um, and that was it. <laughs> and then I have a magazine here that a friend got me um, that the Walls Girl came with actually. Super cute. 
And right below that is just a Taylor Swift Reputation vinyl. Nothing behind this one, um, just something to hold it up uh, to hide the wires. This version is actually really expensive now, I think. It's really crazy. But yeah, one of my favorite albums uh, from Taylor. And up here, we have more Starlight acrylic stands. You might remember this angry Shinobu plushie, super cute. She's just been chilling here. And on the side, I have my Atelier Ryza 1 and 2 art books. And on this side, I have the Honkai art book, visual art book. <laughs> um, and then I have the Review Starlight Relive mobile game, second anniversary art book. Absolutely love the art from this game. One of the best things about it, to be honest. And then I have this Art Knight's first anniversary merch box, supply box. But yeah, below that shelf, I just have a bunch of boxes here. This Atelier Rise of 2 Premium Edition, Your Throne Volumes 3 and 4 box here. And then this Near Replicant Collector's Edition, White Snow Edition. Um, it's here to block the wires behind basically and the art is pretty so yeah it's over here and to the right i just have this mr white mochi plushie here nothing behind him he's very soft and squishy i have another one on my bed so i have two of him just because i love mr white so much and back up here we have the remainder of my starlight merch here i have some acrylic stand things here i just got these three um for one for each of my top three characters i'm actually missing the weapon for maya i forgot to get it at the time and it doesn't really pop up all that often and it if it does, I think it's kind of expensive now. Um, don't know if I will ever get it. And then I just have can badges with their seiyus, the voice actors on them. Nana has frog offerings because she loves frogs, so I gave her the ones I had. I got this cute one from Artbox in Korea and this frog prince one at a local store. And yeah, so I just gave her some froggy sacrifices. And I have some mangas back here and some yonkomas, um, they're fun read. And some Blu-rays here, I have the movies, some of the live shows. I went to the Starry Diamond live um, a couple years ago, so I'm biased, but this is hands down my favorite. And here I have this light stick that I got from Starry Diamond. And hidden behind all of this, I have this special storage box that actually holds all of my CDs from Revy Starlight. I did get like most of the older ones for really cheap at a secondhand store in Japan. Um, but I also do have a couple of new ones that I bought, um, I think mainly off Ami Ami. But yeah, absolutely love Kukugumi. They're like my comfort group. Love them so much. And tucked away on the side, I just have a bunch of pamphlets from events and shows, this Gekkan Bushi Road with uh, Starlight on the cover, some magazines with the Seiyus on the cover, and this neat little bromide holder that I actually put some stuff in but I kept it in the plastic to protect the cover. But yeah, just a bunch of stuff here. Next to my Starlight shelf, I have my Bandori shelf or really just my Roselia slash Yukino shrine really on the back on top of this Roselia box, I have a Lisa and Akko ball plushie thing. I think they're the Korokot plushies. Um, they were in the last two boxes at a local store and I'm actually really glad that I got this Akko one because she's just so cute. And next to her, I have this bird Yukina um, plushie thing. It's so cute. I was going to put it in my car, but it doesn't fit. So she's just here. And then I have this album wall. Um, surprisingly, the only album I have from Bandori, I really love Roselia and the art on the back is so gorgeous. And back to figures for a bit, I have this pop-up parade of Yukina, the only pop-up parade that I own currently. It's pretty okay for what it is, I think it's nice. And next to her, I have the 17 scale of Yukina by Bushi Road pretty sure this is the overseas version which is really just the pearlescent version i did have the regular one before but i sold it to get this one instead because i like the shininess of it but yeah the regular one was really nice too and in front i just have a couple of signed cards this sp card of yukina from 
Vanguard, card fight Vanguard. I don't play, but I do like buying cards to collect. I just really like opening packs too. But yeah, pretty nice piece of cardboard crack here. And on the other side, I have the Yukina SSR card. Pretty much the same art as the SP, but the SSRs have the Seiyu signs instead of the character signs. And of course, she's voiced by Aiba Aina, who I love. So I had to get it. Super gorgeous. So pretty. And on the side here, I just have a couple of magazines with the Seiyus on the cover, um, Bandori on the cover, and some mangas and some other stuff. And on the last cubicle is basically the rest of my vinyl collection. Um, we have one of the folklore vinyls here by Taylor. I say one because I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, like eight versions of this album. But in my defense, they all have different covers and I had to get them. <laughs> so yeah, I was before I was buying pieces of molded plastic, I was buying a lot of Taylor merch. Um, but yeah, mostly just Taylor vinyls here, but I do have this Final Fantasy VII one and a couple of artists that I like. And then I have this Final Fantasy VII soundtrack CD that's pretty cool. Um, absolutely love the soundtrack. And this plastic jewel looks like a material, which is really pretty. Love the packaging. It's just really great. And on the side, next to some Blu-rays, I have a couple more Taylor Swift vinyls here that I framed and used to have hung up on the wall, but I took it down. And that's pretty much it for the Calyx. All right, and that's pretty much my room, or at least the collection side of it. I didn't realize how much stuff I had collected over many years, but maybe I just talked way too much about every little thing and that's why the video is really long. But um, hopefully it was somewhat entertaining to see what my room kind of looks like at the moment. But I just wanted a kind of like a snapshot of what my room looks like at the moment and I've always wanted to do this type of video. So yeah, hopefully it was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I'll just stop talking now since you're probably tired of hearing my voice by now. But thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!